Hey guys, it's me, Christina, so let's do Friday Reads. Um, so, I haven't posted in, like, I think it was a few days. It was my wrap-up. Um, so I changed some of the books that I'm reading. I'm still reading Mockingjay. I'll, I'll just set that, but I put down Dare to You Too, um, because I was not in the mood for a contemporary, and I really wanted to read Written in Red, and I'm on the first chapter, and it's really good, like, the first, like, the prologue, kind of, which is the brief history on the world, is, like, so creepy that you just, like, it's... It's about this, like, um, this girl, um, who, um, it's about vampires and shapeshifters, um, a girl named Meg who can see the future and her skin is a gift that feels more like a curse. And it's just, and it's written by, um, Ann Bishop, this is the first in the series, I'm reading it with the audiobook. Which I love to do sometimes, except for the voice sucks. Like, I've read some books, like, and I've stopped using the audiobook because the voice is just so terrible. Like, I wanted to get, like, the Slam series in audiobook version, but the voice of the person who's narrating them, it just sucks. <laughs> like, it's not very good. Like,. Um, I'm still reading The Raven Boys, which is very good. I just love this book. I am on page 85. Um, I'm still reading Mockingjay. I don't know if I ever said this in a video that I'm reading Mockingjay, but I might have. I'm on page 79, and I'm trying to get through this. I just want to get through it because... Uh, Mockingjay is not my favorite, um, it's not terrible, but, uh, Catching Fire will always be my favorite. Um, and Battle of Labyrinth, I'm still reading Clockwork Princess, and I'm on page 147. And this is really good, um, so, some books I want to read are, um, if I finish any of these, if I finish, um, the Raven Boys, I'm going to go on to the second book, which is The Dream Thieves, and, or I might take a break and read this book that I want to read that I can't remember, that I read the first chapter and it just, like, sent shells down my spine because it was so freaking creepy, um, and I can't think of the freaking book title. I got it from the library. Um, let's see if I can go into my account on my library. Um, let's see. Well, I do want to read Don't Forget About Me by Kate. That I cannot pronounce that. Uh, um, I hunt killers. I'm gonna read that. This is the book. It's The Fall by Bethany Griffin. It like literally sent chills down my spine. It's it, a retelling of Edgar Allan Poe that explains it. Because when I read a Edgar Allan Poe story in high school, it gave me nightmares. Um, The Fall is the house of the Usher, which, the Usher, in which Madeline and her twin brother suffer from the Usher's family illness, but she hears the house talking and filling her dreams and controlling her actions, and she never, and ensuring she never leaves the property. That just sounds so creepy. I love to read, like, really creepy stories in the wintertime. It's so weird. Like, I think cold, like, being contemporary in the cold is weird, because that's more, like, summery, and, but reading, like, really creepy stories in the winter just feels right. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading.
Hopefully I will have a review up soon. Um, have a nice day. Bye guys. Happy reading.